Dear learners, welcome to the presentation of virtual lab for chemical test for acacia. The experiment aims at to perform the chemical test of gum acacia. The different materials required for the experiment are test tubes, test tube stand, lead acetate, borax, hydrochloric acid, felling solution, benzidine. If we study about the details of the drug, we will see that the synonym of the drug is gum acacia, gum arabic and acacia. The biological source, it is the dried gummy exudation obtained from the stem and the branches of the plant acacia arabica belonging to the family leguminosae. The figure represents the image of the acacia plant and this is the image of the resin form of acacia and the powdered form of the drug. Let us move into the details of the drug's description. First we study about the macroscopic characters. The color says that the tears are usually white, pale yellow and sometimes creamish brown to red in color. The powder has an off white to pale yellow or light brown appearance. It is odorless. There is a close relationship between color and the flavor due to presence of tannins. The taste is bland and mucilaginous because it contains high amount of mucilages. Shape and size, tears are mostly spheroidal or ovoid in shape and it has a diameter of around 2.5 to 3 cm. Appearance that the tears are invariably opaque either due to the presence of cracks or fissures produced on the outer surface during the process or ripening. The fracture is usually brittle in nature and its exposed surface appears to be glossy. The collection of the gum, it is produced as a result of injury to the plant after the rainy season. Bark is tapped and transfer cut are given to the stem and the branches to expose the cambium and newly formed phloem. Within 20 to 30 days, the tears are collected and made free from bark pieces and organic matter. It is unorganized drug. It is collected and dried in the sun. Acacia is almost soluble in water and it is viscous and acidic in nature. Gum arabica is mostly solu most soluble form of the gums. Acacia is insoluble in alcohol and other organic solvents. The chemical constituents of the gum says that it contains arabin which is a mixture of calcium, magnesium, potassium and salts of arabic acid. Acacia was originally thought to be composed only of four chemical constituents namely arabinose, galactose, rhamnose and galuronic acid. On subjecting the gum acacia to hydrolysis with point zero one normal sulfuric acid helps in removing the combined product of arabinose and galactose whereas the residue consists of the product galactose and glucuronic acid these two products are formed in the ratio of 3 is to 1 now we come to the experimental part that is the chemical test First, we perform the lead acetate test. In this test, an aqueous solution of acacia when treated with lead acetate solution yields a heavy white precipitate which looks like this. If it looks like this, then we draw the inference that acacia is present in the solution. Next is borax test. An aqueous solution of acacia affords a stiff translucent mass on the treatment with borax. A translucent mass is obtained which is looking like this then it is converted to this and finally to this. If it is looking like this, acacia is present. Third one is the reducing sugars test which is given positive because gum acacia contains several sugars such as arabinose galactose. In this test, the hydrolysis of an aqueous solution of acacia with dilute hydrochloric acid yields reducing sugars whose presence are ascertained by boiling with felling solution. To give a brick red precipitate of cuprous oxide, this is the color or the precipitate given by this test. It says that acacia is present. Next is blue coloration due to the enzyme. 
when the aqueous solution of acacia is treated with benzidine in alcohol together with a few drops of hydrogen peroxide it gives rise to a distinct blue color indicating the presence of enzyme this is the distinct blue color which is given after performing this test and by this we draw the inference that acacia is present in the solution now let's focus on to the different uses of this particular gum the mucilage of acacia is employed as a demulcent it is used extensively as a vital pharmaceutical aid for emulsification and serve as a thickening agent it finds its enormous application as a binding agent for the tablets it is used in the process of granulation for the manufacture of tablets it is considered to be the gum of choice by virtue of the fact that it is quite compatible with the plant hydrocolloids as well as starches carbohydrates and proteins it is used in conjunction with gelatin to form conservatives for micro encapsulation of drugs it is employed as a colloidal stabilizer it is used extensively in making of candy and other food products in pharmaceuticals it is used as a stabilizer for the emulsions a binder for coating our tablets and as an ingredient in the cough drops and syrups gum arabic is used in cosmetics as an adhesive for face marks and powders and to give a smooth feel to the lotions with this i conclude my presentation on the virtual lab of chemical test of gum acacia if you have any queries you can mail me at the given mail address or you can drop in a comment at the comment section of my youtube channel thank you for following my videos and listening to my lectures have a nice time ahead